chance to breathe. Uh, they were huge. They came in with a ton of energy, uh, like we knew they would. Um, and just came in and, and they didn't let the energy drop off at all. Or they came in and moved the ball, played uh, suffocating defense, and you know, just came came out with the win. CJ again, the leading scorer. How would you describe what he's meant to this squad and contributing to y'all playing your best basketball this time of year? Uh, he's a great, great leader, uh, coach on the floor. Uh, does everything the right way, um, and he challenges everybody to, you know, do everything the right way, uh, regardless of, you know, uh, defensively, offensively, um, in the locker room. You know, when we go on trips, he, he just always uh, pushes the the message to do everything the right way, uh, so that we can become a consistently good team. Um, and I feel like he's done a great job of that uh, since he's gotten here. Herb, the, uh, the block in the second quarter that you finished with a, a layup there, I don't think that was your guy. How did you just know that was where he should have gone? Uh, well, I seen, I think somebody drove baseline, and I knew that somebody would have, somebody was going to take the corner man. So I knew it was my rotation to uh, I'd go challenge the shot. Um, and at first I thought he was going to pump fake, but he did. <laughs> he didn't, and I came up with the block. Did you, did you surprise yourself a little bit with that one? Yeah, I did, and I, I didn't know the I didn't know the ball had went that far, uh, like in the back court. Uh, like when I looked up, I seen how far it had traveled, um, and I just tried my best to go, go get it and lay the ball up. How, how comfortable does uh, does Trey Murphy look right now? Super comfortable. Um, I feel like, you know, all year he he's been working uh, his tail off, um, and now he's just you know uh, I feel like coming into his own uh, and selling into his game. And we asked Coach about it. He said he thinks you deserve it. Uh, what do you think about your chances landing on the all-defensive team this year? That would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> Just because <clears throat> coming into the year, I had zero uh, like thoughts about being on an all-defensive team. Uh, I mean, it, it would be a you know a great accomplishment. But I mean, right now, I just let whoever. If you guys decide on that, you know, vote for me. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, so hopefully I hopefully I make it. And just talk about, you know, how difficult it is to come in this league as a rookie and play perimeter defense against, you know, these athletes, these vets and just the way they know the game and know how to score. I mean it's tough. Uh, starting out, I know um you guys asked me about the fouling, uh, and how the officiating was going. I mean I feel like uh I mean, I didn't change too much of how I played. I just tried to adjust, uh, and I studied a lot, asked a lot of questions. Um, a lot of my teammates, they helped me out uh, with talking to the refs and just telling them, you know, I, that that's just how I play. Um, and I feel like as the season went on, um, they they let me get away with more than I got away with uh, when I first started playing. Um, I mean, to, to that part a little bit, I mean, how much is, how much are you trying to talk to refs during games or pull guys on the side and, Pick the brain of like a GT or, or CJ onto what what you can get away with, what mm -hmm. you can do, how how certain guys officiate or or anything like that. Uh, well, I mean, I try not to talk to the refs too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like with my teammates, if I if I mess up or if I uh, make a mistake out there, I'll come to the side and I wouldn't even have to ask a question. They'll tell me something that I can do better, um, and I just go out and try to apply. You know what they tell me. It's for CJ, kind of going back to what, what Jen was asking earlier about how, how, how has he kind of acclimated himself as the leader or one of the leaders of this team in the middle of the season where, I mean, things are kind of set up. He comes in with 25 games left. And it, how has he kind of done that and in, in kind of taken that role for you guys? Um, I, I feel like it's a respect thing. You know, he, he's well respected uh, around the league. Like everybody knows who he is. Um, and when he came in, you get a deeper understanding of um, just how he carries himself. Uh, and I feel like everybody was uh, like they they accepted him, like we accepted him uh, with open arms. And he just came in and set the tone. Uh, he, he he's a lot more vocal than I I thought he was. Um, and like I said, he just preaches all of the right things and and tries to make sure we we're uh, following his lead and, and doing the right things. Herb, we often talk to you about your steals or your blocks in a game, but 
What do you think of when you see your teammates doing that? For instance, I'm thinking of tonight when the reserves closed out the first quarter and in the second, I think they came up with four straight steals against the Portland Trail Boys. What was going on inside your head? What were you thinking about? I was just happy that, you know, we, we was getting the ball back. Uh, I feel like our team, uh, everybody uh, loves to compete, um, regardless if it's offense or defense. And uh, it, it, I feel like it was on display tonight, uh, like you said, when they came up with four straight steals. Regardless of what the score is, we're going to keep playing how we're supposed to play. Thank you. 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 Thank you.